This is the exam question where we are combining the specific heat capacity and the specific latent heat equations. The link to the uh, exam question can be found in the description below. Read through the question now. So now that you've done that, we can see we've got a copper can of mass 20 grams here, and it's got 50 grams of water inside it, and both the copper can and the water in the beaker are 84 degrees Celsius. We then drop in this block of copper, which is 47 grams, and is at 990 degrees Celsius, and it goes in here, and it's going to heat up the water, as well as the copper can, until eventually everything... Uh, the temperature of the can and its contents, so the can, the water and the copper block all reach 100 degrees Celsius. There is then still, still some energy that is given to the water to cause some of that water to evaporate as steam. For the first part of the question, we have to calculate how much thermal energy gets transferred from the copper block to the water and the other bit of copper as it cools down to 100 degrees. So because this one is all about changing temperature, the temperature change of the block of copper from 990 to 100, we're using the specific heat capacity equation. The specific heat capacity equation is E equals mc delta theta where m is mass, c is specific heat capacity, and delta theta is the change in temperature. This is to do with the change in energy, or the energy released by the copper block. So that means we need the mass of the copper block, and the mass of the copper block is 47 grams, which in kilograms, we're going to do 47 divided by 1,000, and that gives us 0, 0.0. 47 kilograms as the mass of the copper block. And I'm just going to add another little subscript here. I'm just going to add a little b so that I know this is the mass of the copper block. The specific heat capacity of the water is 390. So the specific heat capacity of the copper is 390. And now we just need to work out the change in temperature of the copper block. Or we could use theta here instead. And the change in temperature is 990 minus 100. So the change in temperature of the copper block is 890 degrees Celsius. That gives us the energy change of the copper block as being 0 0.047 times 390 times 890. And we get an answer of 16313.7, which we can take as being about 1.6 times 10 to the power of 4 joules. So that's part uh, BI. The second part of the question asks us to calculate how much of this thermal energy is available to make steam. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to figure out how much energy does it take to heat up this water to 100 degrees Celsius. How much energy does it take to heat up this bit of copper can to 100 degrees Celsius? Add those two together, and that gives me the energy required to lift all of this up to 100 degrees Celsius. And then I have the energy before that is released by this copper block, and the difference in those energies will give me the amount of energy given to the water to become steam. Because this question is again about changing temperature, this is the uh, specific capacity equation, and the energy given to the water in the beaker to heat it up is going to be the mass of the water which is 50 grams or 0 0.050 kilograms times the specific heat capacity of the water which you can see in the top right is 4200 times the change in temperature of the water and the water goes from 84 up to 100 so it is times 16 and that gives me 3,360 joules to heat up the water to 100 degrees Celsius. So that's how much energy goes into heating up the water. Now let's work out how much energy goes into heating up the copper can. So this is for the water, this is for the copper can. And the mass of the copper can is 20 grams or 0 0.020 kilograms times the specific heat capacity of the water, which you can see in the top right, is 390, times 16 again, because again the can goes from 84 degrees Celsius up to 100, and that gives me the total energy given to the copper can as being 124.8 
joules, and that's given to the copper can. This means that the energy given to the copper can and the water to heat it up is equal to 3,360 plus 124.8 joules, and that gives me the total energy given to them as 3,484.8 joules. Now, remember that we had uh, 1.6 times 10 to the power of 4 joules released by the copper block and only 3,484.8 joules taken to heat up the water and the copper can. So we're going to uh, find the difference between them and that will give us the amount of energy that is given to the water to uh, evaporate as steam. So minus our 3,484.8 and I'm going to take this up here now and that gives us an answer of 12,515.2 joules or to the nearest uh, two sig figs gives us 13,000 joules available still. The final part of the question is to calculate the maximum mass of steam that might be produced from that. Well, in the previous part, we calculated that the amount of energy given to the steam is going to be 13,000 joules. And this time we're talking about state changes, so the equation we're looking at is E equals ML. We can see from the top right that the latent heat of vaporization is 2.3 times 10 to the 6, and we want to work out the mass. So I'm going to rearrange this equation to get M equals E over L. I get 13,000 joules over 2.3 times 10 to the 6. And that will give me an answer of... 0.0057 kilograms.